This is why this episode's spending the entire time rehashing a flashback, albeit from a new point of view, could lead to the series being considered a bit of a fail, even by a shill like myself. By not spending any time in the present, to tee up the finale, this episode has left the series end in a tough spot to thread the needle as they say. Personally, I still think this series and the story it is trying to tell can stick the landing next week, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't highly concerned after not getting any updates on present day Seoul, and May, and Osha, and Kamir. Not checking in on Kosha felt a bit criminal, and I do believe if this episode's final five minutes or so flip back to the present, it could have been one of its best and a great lead into the finale. But now, it is truly uncertain if all the key threads, which are the fates of the twins, the fates of Sol and Kamir, Mother Corel's fate, and finally Vernestra's ultimate fate in regards to how she possibly plays into all this outside of leading the present day cover up of the mess that Sol and the other three Jedi caused on Brendok 16 years ago.